Hey, this is Chad over at Tackle Express, and oftentimes we get questions about Avent reels and pen reels, and which one's better. Um, there's some differences, there's some things that are the same. Uh, mainly we're referring to two-speed reels. Uh, so let me go through the five things that I think you should consider when you're buying a pen or an Avent reel. So having a two-speed reel is very beneficial, especially if you're fishing deep water. Uh, if you're fishing bottom fish in 200 plus feet of water, having it in high gear all day is extremely tiring. So I like to, as I get tired during the day, I'll kick it into low gear, push the button, get it into low gear, and just kind of winch the fish up. It takes longer to come up, obviously, because the, the spool is turning slower, but it's much easier on me, on my hands, uh, on my back, uh, later on in the day when I'm tired. Now, I like a shorter rod too for bottom fishing. That's another thing that kind of goes in hand in hand with a two speed. Having a rod that's nine feet and a two speed doesn't make a whole lot of sense most of the time. But if I'm rock fishing or I'm bottom fishing in deeper water and I have a lot of weight on there, and then you add a couple fish onto it as well, that's a lot pulling on you. The longer the rod, the more it pulls on you. So I like to fish a seven to a seven six rod, usually a medium heavy to a heavy, something like that and that fits a two-speed and makes sense for a two-speed. Anytime you're fishing vertically, that makes sense to have a two-speed with a shorter rod. If you're casting and you're trying to get a jig out there or a popper or some kind of lure out there, having a longer rod with, uh, it could be a two-speed or a single speed, but I prefer if you're doing that type of fishing to have a single speed reel. Uh, unless you're fishing for bigger tuna using poppers, but most of the time, um, if I'm fishing for yellowtail or calico bass or sea bass, something like that, I want a single speed. But the two speed definitely has a very important uh, part in my fishing, especially when deeper water. So the pen one has the lever drag that is a little more smooth, a little sleeker. Um, it doesn't have the knurled end on it or like a rough end to grab it. Whereas the Avid, and this is a Raptor series Avid, so it has the glide plate and it also has a knurled end on it. This knurled end makes it easy to slide back and forth. You can grab it if your hands are wet or if you have slime from a fish. And so um, theirs is a little bit different in terms of that. The button to go into high, into full uh, drag is here. It's a little bit small, but it's not, not that small where it's hard to get to. And you can just push that and then put it into full drag. Um, they both work the same way. They're both the same kind of drag curve, uh, and you can preset that drag curve using the uh, preset button here, and I'll explain in a different video how to set your drag. Now I'm gonna talk about the drag system. They both work pretty much the same way. Uh, these are two-speed reels, and so you have a low gear and high gear, and the way that you put both of them into low gear from high gear is you have to have the drag engaged, so have it in gear, this one has a nice, this is the pin, it has a nice big button on the side to go into low gear. So you simply just push that button, turn the handle, and I'm into low gear. To get it back into high gear, you'll rotate this clockwise. There's a knurled end on this piece, and you'll simply turn that until it clicks, and then turn the handle, and now you're back into high gear. Um, low gear is better for winching fish when they're just under the boat, if it's a bigger fish and it's just dogging you underneath the boat. You'll switch it into low gear, rest it on the rail or, or on a belt, or just put it on your knee, and then just slowly crank it up uh, and winch it to the boat with short, sometimes with short rod pumps. But that gives you a lot more power and torque over getting that fish in the boat at the end of the fight. The high gear is better for at the beginning of the fight. The fish may be coming at you and you need to gain line quickly. And so you're gonna use that high gear to gain that line quickly uh, as the fish is catching up to you. The Avid has a, very similar way to do it. Uh, difference is it's a smaller button uh, and you depress it, it's in gear, and it'll engage as soon as you turn the handle. And this one, instead of rotating the knurled end, what you're gonna do is push the button away from you. Uh, and that's gonna engage it back into high gear. This button could get dented, it could get hit on something and could get dented, whereas the pen one is such a big knob, it's kind of flush on the outside, I don't see that happening. But both work good and uh, both work, you know, we don't have any customer complaints or anything, so uh, it's just a little bit different way of doing it. So another important thing about pen versus Abbott reels is the amount of bearings that they have. The pen Fathom, this is the 30, but this is the two-speed uh, version of the Fathom. They also make a star drag, and this happens to be a JX Raptor version of it. 
They have a G2 version, which is a little bit less expensive and doesn't have quite as many features, but this happens to be the Raptor version. Uh, so this one has five bearings, that's the pen, and the Avit has eight bearings. Those bearings support the gears, they support uh, the spool, they support aspects of the reel, and in that support, the, the gears and the, and the spool and everything meshes together better. So as things mesh together better, when you put a load on it, it doesn't, it doesn't uh, twist or turn or not engage correctly with each gear. So um, that said, one thing that we noticed about the two of them is the free spool. There's bearings on the, free, on the spool itself, and the free spool is very important when it comes to casting or letting your bait out. Um, when you're casting, obviously, you, you want to be able to get distance but not get a backlash. The Pen Fathom has a very good free spool, um, and, but it does not have a cast control. The Avid uh, doesn't have as good of a free spool, uh, but it does have a cast control. So the cast control is a one through five setting. It increases or decreases the amount of drag on the spool as you're casting. It has a magnet in there that moves it closer or further away to slow it down or speed it up. That can be really good if you're not proficient at casting. You can even set it at just two or three just to give you a little bit of help or as much as five if you need maximum. The Fathom doesn't have that cast control, so you have to use your thumb in order to cast and not get a backlash. This one has a very good free spool, and if you're proficient at it, you can get a longer cast out of it. But if you're new to it, uh, that, that free spool can cause problems because you can get a backlash if you don't have the right pressure with your thumb. So another feature about these reels is the handle. It's obviously the thing you have the most, you're in most contact with. So in a handle, I like an arm that's long enough so you can get torque on the fish, but not too long where it's cumbersome. And I like to have a soft feeling knob so that you can get grip, especially if you have slimy hands. Um, the Pen Fathom has a little bit of grip to it. It's definitely a harder handle than the Avid handle. The Avid handle kind of has that kind of soft touch feel to it, uh, which I like a lot. One downside to it is that the Avid handle is, is so soft that if, when we put line on your reel at the shop, if we're not careful about how we line it up, if it's not just perfect, then you can get a little wear mark through the soft part of the handle. Whereas the pen, we don't have that problem at all. It's hard enough that it can go on the line machine and not get any indentations or damage to it. Uh, but it is, and it's still pretty grippy, um, but it's, they're both about the same size, so they have, they have a good amount of grip to them, and you shouldn't have any problems with either one. But there's some slight differences to the handles. The arm length on the Avid is a little bit longer, but I don't think you'd notice it uh, while fighting a fish. So there's a big cost difference between Avid's and Pen's. Uh, because they're made overseas, the Pen, this is a Fathom uh, 2 Speed 30, uh, but, but all of the models are made overseas, and so for that matter, someone who's on a budget who wants a quality reel, the Pen fits the bill for that. If you want a USA made product, you're going to pay a little bit more. Um, and there's a lot more options when you go with an Avid. You have multiple colors that you can go with. You have multiple sizes you can go with. Um, and it, it has two, it has a G2 and it has the Raptor. The Raptor is, is top of the line. It has the most drag. It has all the bells and whistles with the slide plate, the cast control, has a deeper spool. It has increased drag washers. The drag washers, if you look at the plate on the side here, the plate is much thicker, and that's to allow for that thicker drag washer. In addition, that drag washer is glued and notched to fit onto the spool. The, the drag washer is on the side of the spool, and a plate pushes against it. So having that drag washer glued and slotted makes it so that that drag washer cannot move under pressure. That gives you increased drag. So uh, you can get a ton of drag in a very small reel. And with braided line, filled or half filled or however you'd like to do it with braided line you can catch a giant fish you can catch a 150 pound tuna on a jx reel so there's a lot of lot of uh, benefits to having a, an avid over a pen now another thing is you can get all of those colors you can't get them in left hand anymore you can only get them in right hand but they have blue and black gunmetal orange pink there's a ton of different colors that you can get to suit your rod, you can have it match your rod, or if you want all of your reels to match, you can do that. 
So check out our blog at TackleExpress.com. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on social media. You can also stop by the shop or give us a call. We'd be more than happy to help you decide which reel is better for you. And thanks very much for coming. We appreciate it.